Brothers and sisters, uh, allow me to share you one thing today, Lord God, for your um, for our goodness and for the glory of God. I want to share to you uh, Joshua, and he said, "Me and my house will serve the Lord." Brothers and sisters in Christ, first thing that we have to understand is we have to before we can serve the Lord, we have to suffer first before the crown. So, so many people in this world today, they have to go for the crown first before they suffer. So that's our own choice. It's the other way around. Everybody in this world has to suffer in order, in order to live. Jesus Christ suffered, and we also have to suffer in order to live. So how, why, uh, why do we have to suffer and not uh, just go on living and enjoy life? I mean, it's not, it's not going to happen that way. Because there are two things that controls life. The mind of this world and the mind of Christ. Before you can have the mind of Christ, we have to first navigate the mind of this world so that we can get out from the mind of this world. And getting out from the mind of this world, we have to suffer a lot. What is the mind of this world? Well, the mind of this world is dominated, dominated by the desires of this world. The desires of this world are called uh, our selfish interests, our selfish motives, our our desire to be better than other, and our desire to to become rich. We are aiming for the crown instead of suffering first. It's not gonna work that way. That is why the people of the world today. Their life is upside down. It's out of control. Why? Why? Because they are looking first for for their happiness before suffering. You know, brothers and sisters, we have a life that is dominated by the patterns of this world. Before we can we can enjoy life, first we have to remove ourselves from the patterns of this world. In Romans chapter 12, renew yourselves. Renew your mind. Separate from the patterns of this world. And you will see and discern the true image of God. Amen. Amen. You will discern the perfect will of God. The perfect will of God is our choice. It's our riches. If we cannot pick up the perfect will of God in our life, we will not be serving the purpose why we are here. We will not be serving the purpose why God called us. We will not be serving God because we don't have God. Because we don't know who is God. Because our self-will is dominated. It's dominating us. Our self-will is much controlled by the world, by the desires of this world. And so therefore, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to remove first our self-will so that the domination of this world in our life will no longer be the reigning power but the mind of Christ. Amen? Amen? Okay, so once we know that, therefore we have to look at the mind of Christ and the mind of Christ is simple. It's not complicated. Christ said, we will give you, I will give you life to enjoy to the full i will give you life so that you will enjoy it abundantly and that life is given to us one day at a time god did not give us life 70 years at a time five years at a time one year at a time 50 years at a time but he gave us only one day at a time to live for christ amen, amen. brothers and sisters how long you've been living 50 years old all right let's say take it or leave it maybe a hundred years old or maybe 25 years old brothers and sisters my question is whom are you living for is it God or the patterns of this world yeah. so my brothers and sisters before we can be with God we have to suffer first so we have to reverse what our situation is uh, what, what is happening now we are heading for the for a crown 
but we are not prepared to suffer. Ah, okay, so what is suffering? Suffering means we have to prepare ourselves so that we can be with God. To prepare ourselves, we must be ready to repent. We must be ready to forgive. And we must be ready to receive Christ as our Lord and Savior of our life. Amen. If we don't receive Christ, we cannot be with God at all. Because Christ said, I am the way. If you want to go to the Father, you can only go by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. So that was saying in John 14, verse 6. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to choose Christ. You have to make it a choice now. We have to make our choice now. And we have to choose Christ to be the crown of our life. Amen? Amen. When we chose Christ as the crown of our life, then abundantly we will enjoy, enjoy our life to the full. And we will no longer be children tossed to and fro by every waves of doctrine, by the cunning words of deception of the evil ones. Well, we will be, we will be following the words of Jesus Christ, which can only give us the crown of life. God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Enjoy yourself. May God loves us all and be with us always so that we will not be okay defeated again in this world all right so thank you and may you be um, in the hands of god be strong be healthy don't forget god loves us all amen amen